Maybe we can hack around him. Like hack past him. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Okay. We'll take this one in the meantime. Hey, it's fine. It's a level one. Boom! Access Got a virus. Let's go. A new virus thing. What do you got for me? I don't know. I don't really need any of that, but I'll take the grenades, I guess. Um, any vents around here? The ceiling, maybe? Nope. Okay. So what happens if I shoot this guy with a plasma rifle? Is it disabled? I think. I don't know if it really was disabled or not, but I shot it a lot of times and it made me, made me feel a little better about it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Dude. I can't get in here. Uh, I'm jumping through the window. Whoop! Control room! I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. You destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm in your miss. Now. Oh, jeez. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Banchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Alright, so we've got quite the personality trait list here. He views himself as an educator of lesser people. Maybe destillers' arguments are proven wrong. Can easily convert people to his cause. Not used to resistance. He was a little bit beta there. So, uh... Critique. Appeal. We want to prove his arguments wrong, so we should probably extrapolate. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... 
I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. History has shown us again and again that the human race is hidebound and governed by inertia. As a society, as a species, the only way to elicit any kind of reaction from it is through an act of tragedy, a horrible cataclysm. I regret what I have been forced to do, but given what I know about mankind and the dangers facing us, this was the only viable choice. Hmm, we persuade him a little bit there. None of it matters because he's very Omega right now. None of it matters because this is what will happen now. Every day, whatever you sell, he's missed the ring is a mass murderer. Whatever more hog range stands, nothing about stacking innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide, okay? Again, he's perceptive, okay, views himself as educator, makes you see how his arguments are proven wrong, can easily convert people, is not used to resistance. Maybe destabilize his arguments are proven wrong. Extrapolate, because this is what will happen. No, dude. Nothing more to hey, I'm trying to figure out what the good thing to say here is. I'm thinking we go with critique. You've convinced yourself you're right. But whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Is that the best argument you can produce? Ethics and morality are as fluid and changeable as any human conceit. I'm disappointed to see you are so naive. Ouch. Quite frankly, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. There's nothing you can say I haven't said to myself at one point or another. The difference, Mr. Jensen, is that I know people like you need this wake-up call. You will never freely give up your augments. Your desire for their power blinds you to the danger you put humanity in. Lovely. Okay, um, let's try to activate our pheromones here. Force character and giving you what you want. Charm. Omegas are just a little pressure, but alphas are quick to rebel. Let's go back. Um, people like me, you mean not like you. Your creation is leaving you behind. Mankind would... Well, use it to evolve without you. I don't really like any of these options. Or maybe we ap appeal to him? Uh, maybe these failures arguments are proven wrong. Let's see if we can pressure him a little bit. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Where the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. Huh. Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... Because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Anchea's security system, much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip. Anchea, help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. Thank you for the codes! I talked them out of you with a little bit of pressure. Silver Chong, the final countdown is for what? You showed Millionaire Hugh Darrow that his logic was flawed. Yeah, buddy, that's how I do. Smarter than Millionaire Hugh Darrow. Did you give me the codes? The codes should help you shut down the Hyron Project, Panchea's security Okay. System. When you see it, you will understand. There is no room for this technology in the world. Yep. Mm. 
David, forgive me. Okay. Anything else in your office here? You got cameras and stuff, stuff, stuff. All right, time to go. We're, I think we're really... All these people are dead and there's blood everywhere. Like I'm telling you, this is like a dead space scene. Which is kind of creepy. Uh, but it's time to go. We got to get those codes. We got to get out of here. I'm thinking that we're really getting close. Richard, to the end of the game. The lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Lovely, I'm on my own. Okay. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. We are about to win the game here. Um, I know there's a point where the endings, you can like then get multiple endings, and I don't think we've reached it yet. I would would, would assume we're not there yet, right? It like, can't be. Just as of yet. Um, because I didn't really make any choice. I mean, I, I could have forced him not to give me the codes, but, uh-oh. Why are we freezing? There we go. I was going to say, Haxor, what's that for? Hacking 50 devices. Good job. I'm a hacksaw. Okay. If you say so. Let's remove these boxes. Let's move these boxes. Oh, what do we have? Hypo stim. Dang it. Okay. Um, I've got stuff in my inventory I don't really need. Like combat rifle ammo. Do I have Praxis? I really didn't end up getting as many practices as I thought I would. Um, I thought maybe I'd get more. Maybe I didn't buy enough or didn't, you know, do every single side quest. But, I mean, I got a decent amount. I don't know. I'll save it in case I need it for something like, oh, there's a gas room or, oh, there's this room. or You know what I mean? As opposed to just using it now and then regretting it later. Blah, 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 blah. This is not a test. She has the network, but you know those automated mes messages creep me out. Yeah, automated messages are kind of annoying and creepy. Okay. Let's rock and roll and rock and roll. I'm guessing going out here would be not good. That's a storage closet. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure that going out here is doing us any good either, but... I found a heavy rifle. I don't really... Well... Oh, uh, should I drop... Um, they're, like, really wanting me to drop stuff, so I feel like I should get rid of something... I don't know. The hypo stims are beneficial. I'm just going to rock with what I have. What is this? Cooling system? Ugh. I don't really need it. How are we going to... Well... I know I'm sort of off the grid here because I'm in the, the vents, but i got to get all the way back around to an elevator. Okay. Alright, so we've got hallways to navigate here. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Seems like I need to go this way, maybe? Wait. Chips. Ahoy! Hang on. Go back this way. Ebook! Iron Oceans. Whatever that means. Well, Iron Oceans. It's kind of interesting. Nutrient shifting. Okay, we don't really. Oh my. I think these guys are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there should be a door up a ways. No, no. no? No, whoa, dude, get on my elevator. I'm trying to go down. Trying to shut this signal off, man, so that I can... Isn't that what I'm doing? I want to make sure we know what we're doing here. There are signals being generated from the base of the station. Descend through the station, get to the broadcast center, and shut this bad boy off. Okay. Everyone is alarmed. I don't know why they should be. They're just like zombie people. Going back down, 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 down. Okay. Elevators are fun until you have no room and feel cramped, and there's no music playing or anything. But hey, we're here. Hello? The lighting is creepy. Okay, in this situation, I need to leave. They're just raging mad people. That's cool. 
Whoops. Where am I going? It's like out of the building or something, I guess. So let's exit. Wait, wasn't this where I was? Yeah, this is where I was before. Um... How do I get out? How did I... Did I fall through the roof in here? I swear I did. Maybe not. Okay. Well... I'm gonna go climb back up, because clearly this is not the correct way. Uh... I feel like this is where I, how I got out before. But I'm not in the right spot. Okay, let's go back up then. Not really sure where I went wrong. To cross the way. There's a ladder down there. Don't freak out on me, guys. Okay. These guys are making me scared. I don't like them at all. Okay. Nope, no one's here. Just your mind. You're freaking yourselves out. Where am I trying to get? There's like nothing... Is there a door to leave? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay, you, you said that at lunch, say Henry, global warming is no joke. 70% of our world is covered in all water. Keep you away from the turbine area. Okay, anything of use in here? Combat rifle, sniper rifle, heavy rifle, all things I don't have any of. Awesome. Am I in the right building? Yes. Finally, I'm in the right place. Okay. Limb clinic, eh. Can we get in there? Hey! What's up? You seem relative. All things can see. Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself. No. The rest of the station is still under siege. No. Perhaps that is the white I'm not taking your software. I don't know if that's good or bad or what, but sorry, I'm not. Okay, I'm out of here. Well, I thought maybe I could just buy some stuff, but apparently she wants to download that software in my body, which says, which I say no to, so I'm not doing that. Maybe I could. Taggart. Raging animals. You know how it is. No, no, there's no. Oh, geez, they're all coming for me. They're all coming for me. Okay, I made it through. Holy cow, that was kind of creepy. Look at all the zombies! It's like Dead Rising, except it's not. Scary. Going down to the core room. I 
I like that there's not a whole ton of combat here. It's a lot of like, oh my god, rush and get there. We gotta, gotta get there, gotta get there. We can get there together. We will get there and win this. Okay, they, they like are really bugging me to take this heavy rifle. I feel like I should. I'm gonna drop the machine, and I'm gonna drop the stun, and I'm gonna take the heavy rifle. And I'm gonna take the heavy rifle. Ugh, I don't have enough ammo. I don't have enough to take it. Okay, well, um, what can I drop? Shotgun carts. Machine pistol ammo, and we can take both these. Yes, buddy. Okay. Nervous. We're getting close. Hey. It's a gas-filled room. We are breathing apparatus in this area. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, my. Oh, my. How are we gonna get through here? 